Namaste everyone. Uh, it's a great honor to be on stage with the with the Sim Shailgas and uh, Sim Shailgas on the stage and uh, guests on off the dais, parents and uh, guest student friends. Uh, always happy to be part of Rimjim and of course uh, the topic is very close to my heart and perhaps many of you have uh, problems with this. Some of you might like this, some of you may not like this because it is uh, related to junk food, right? And uh, the topic is, should junk food, junk food be banned in school? Should it be done or not? So you can also be part of the discussion. Uh, first, I would like all the uh, child guests to express their opinion uh, for about one minute each. After that, I would like to share some chat scripts and then a few questions from my side and we'll open it to the audience later. Okay? So, go next for me. A very good evening to everyone present here, my parents, teachers and all my friends. This is Bhuneshwari of Classroom. This is Bhuneshwari of Classroom. I am very happy to be here and act as a child guest. I am very thankful to Sri Prakash Educational Institution for giving me a golden opportunity. And friends, coming to the topic about junk food, in my opinion, junk food should be banned from school. On the one hand, it has positive effects. On the other hand, it has negative effects. So first, what is junk food? Let us see. Junk food is a food that is a preservative term for food that is calories and nutrient food. In recent decades, junk food, fast food and convenient food consumption have increased dramatically with 25% of people now consuming junk food predominantly like anything. There are a long list of reasons why eating junk food is bad. Junk food is high in salt and sugar and sodium. I think so many members are having knee pain. You are having knee pain because of sugary and salty contents in your meal. If you reduce those sugary and salty contents in your meal, you will not have any knee pain and you will be very active. And also consumers who tend to eat too much at one sitting and who have satisfied their appetite with junk food are not showing much interest in eating a nutritional food like fruits, vegetables or dairy products. Studies have revealed that at the age of 30, all people are having uh, heart attack. And by eating junk food, we will have many chronic health conditions. And children who eat junk food cannot be pay attention in their classrooms and performing examinations. And there will be more things and the, it affects all the students around the world. So, my honest and in my opinion, hence I strongly suggest that students need to start their day healthy rather than starting their day with junk food. Thank you. Respected dignitaries, teachers, parents and my dear friends, a very good evening to you all. This is B. Vanilla of Class 10. I am highly privileged to be here and share my views with you all. I really want to thank our school management for giving me this fabulous opportunity. Well, coming to the topic, in my perspective, junk food should ban in schools. I hope they understood the real meaning of junk food after listening to my friend Boneshwari. If you want my honest opinion, Eating junk food is not good for our health. It's, it leads to lifetime health circumstances. And also, statistics have shown that 60 million adults are obese or overweight. If this was the condition for adults, think about the children. Children like everything. They are addicted for this junk food so fast. The situation is in such a way that they are blackmailing their parents for getting whatever they want. Though parents know that these junk foods are dangerous to their children, but still, for their happiness and for their sake, they are accepting. In my opinion, school is a place where children spend most of their time. So, 
School must be a place where children learn to eat healthy foods. This will happen only when junk foods are banned in our schools. A very good evening to respected teachers, parents and my friends. This is Rikta of Class 10. It's my pleasure to be here and act as a childish and so I would like to thank Sri Prakash Educational Institution for giving this wonderful opportunity. Before entering to the topic, here how many would like to eat junk food? See, I would like to give uh, what are the negative impacts and positive impacts of junk food. Eating junk food in my opinion is not a big crime. In my opinion, junk food should not be banned in schools. Because if the junk food is banned, one is concerned about the kids who love junk food. They hate the system and they will be totally sad. And if this junk food is banned, the people, uh, the kids do not get engagement. Because when they perform best in any, in any event, the teachers and parents offer them with little candies and etc. And so they get an encouragement and they perform their level best. And coming to this school hours, we are spending half of the day in this school. So it's not possible to bring breakfast, snacks, lunch, all with us. So we have some canteens in our schools. But if we are not providing the items which the children like, the, that means they are encouraging the children indirectly to go to uh, to go outside and eat junk food. This means junk. So to avoid this, junk food should not be banned in schools. I think for the first time we are listening to some class because. Yeah. But. Good evening everyone. This is Pavya from 10th Standard of Sri Prakash Vidyaniketan Rajmandri. So it's my privilege to be a part of this panel discussion in the Rimsim celebrations. Today I would like to go along with the topic junk food should be banned in school. So uh, uh, if you ask me I can say the word junk itself means old or unwanted thing. So junk food is something which is not needed to us and which is unhealthy. So in us, uh, most of us spend our time in school uh, sharing our views with our friends. So we bring snacks, we bring lunch, etc. to school. We even share with them with our friends. So, um, the food we bring may be junk or the healthy one. So, the food like chips, put, uh, put, I mean, uh, burgers, bread, cakes, and other things, they contain uh, very less or no nutritional value which is not good to our health so it is not good to have junk food and school is a place where we explore many things and we know many things so if we as a children are educated by the children as children we are educated by the teachers we will be able to change the food habits of our brothers, sisters and even our parents uh, by seeing advertisements many of the children may insist our parents to buy these pizzas, burgers and noodles and even pani puri and other roadside food so it is not good to have these because there are so many unhygienic conditions in making of these hence junk food is junk mine it allows us not to concentrate, I mean, we'll not be concentrating. This also causes mental health problems as well as 
physical health problems like obesity. So it is not good to have junk food. Thank you. Respected director sir, Murthy sir, teachers and all my dear friends. This is Akansha of 10th and uh, I am here to, I am really lucky to speak on the uh, panel discussion and I would not support the, that the junk food should be banned in the school because most of us, we are habituated with the junk food. Actually, if you know, most of the time, within a day, how many of you really cannot control, really you all cannot control yourself without a, at least one seat in a junk food, right? Because here, what is the main thing is, junk food, we cannot tell that it's only junk. Junk, it is something which will really save our time. No, the junk food has some disaffects, but it even has some advantages. Now, if I give an example here, now, we go to school and it is very, we are always hurried to the school. Um, our mom, she keeps some uh, normal food with us and our actual interest will be on the canteen, waiting for the junk food. What is this? Most of the people find that in canteen, how, the, how tasty the food is. Mostly the burgers, pizzas which they find. Uh, more, when they, this is in front of the in front of them, if this is found, they mostly think, what is no? I want only this food. Okay, in one way, if they think junk food is negative, there is a way that we can limit it. In a day, okay, not a day, leave it. In a in a week, at least have it twice. Reduce the amount of having it. When you have junk food, you you should know what is the limit of it. Junk food becomes junk when you have it in a more amount. That is the main thing which evolves here. This is what I think normally. Junk food should you instead of banning the junk food, you can you can increase your uh, work. That is something like you can you can jog more or uh, you can just have other co-curricular activities which will really reduce. And there is no question of obese if you have a limit to everything and you know what is more and what is less. So you must know how to manage everything. Junk food is not junk unless you think it is junk. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, audience are uh, definitely biased in one direction. That's very clear from your response. Uh, but. Uh, there are a few statistics which I would like to share. Uh, the food and beverage industry is spending 120 billion rupees yearly on their advertisements to lure people, like to lure, lure young people. These ads are actually meant for only children to make them feel that this is the food to eat. If you are not eating it, you are missing something. This is the impression that what they want to create and they are literally spending spending 120 billion rupees every year on this. And most of that amount you are paying. And 98% of these food have high fat content. And 75% of the food is unhealthy.